Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. Of course we carry on talking about sport in the province. This is Sport Federation TV. We look across the six districts in the Western Cape and the various sport codes. And then of course you'll know that tennis is always in the news. Uh, it's the one sport that we seem to be, um, well, it's, it's, it's on TV all the time at the moment. So our, clearly we, our, our sport fans out there are managing to see quite a lot of tennis um, uh, on the screen and uh, folks as you know tennis in the Western Cape of course very active as well and um, um, busy with many different projects and uh, we thought that we'd cross to the professional side of tennis in the Western Cape uh, tonight where we catch up now with Federico Coppini who very much represents the uh, professional circles within the Western Cape. He is a professional coach out in the Stellenbosch area. Federico, nice to have you on Sport Federation TV. How are you? I'm very happy to, to be here. Thanks so much. First time for us to have you on the show. Yeah. Um, you were uh, referred to us uh, with glowing um, uh, credentials from your president, Riyad Davids. Um, Thanks. Tell us a little bit about professional tennis in the Western Cape. Do we have professional players? I mean, we've seen such success lately with Lloyd Harris representing yes. us overseas. And of course, the whole of South Africa is so proud. How are we doing in the Western Cape from a professional point of view? Um, I think um, I'm quite sure that the level is very, very good. Uh, there are lots of good players, junior, under 12, under 14 in uh, Cape Town and also in, our, in my area, Stellenbosch. They are very good players. And uh, I know that there are lots of other kind of uh, junior that are coming up, up from uh, Hermanus. And we have also under 18, very good, like Robbie Arens from uh, Cape Town. And also I have some other my guys that are coming up, very good. Um, I'm very happy. Um, I think the movement is very good in Western Cape. Um, how do we how do we tell the difference between an amateur tennis player and a professional tennis player? The difference is how you uh, approach the match. Uh, the amateur tennis player normally approach uh, with lots of uh, issues in the, in the mind, and the professional tennis player they they play the match uh, um, not without uh, scared but. They play points by points. It's a different approach. Only about this, not about the shots. Okay, so you're talking about when one is competing. Um, yes. So let's go. Let's go back a step. If I play tennis at my local club, I am yeah. an amateur. How do I become a professional? At which stage is there an age stage or is it a money stage? How do I become a professional? If you want to become okay, if you if you want to, to be a professional you must uh, um, survive with uh, you must earn money uh, with tennis only play tennis uh, like Ilioid. Um but uh, I think only 150 people in the world they, they can survive only by tennis um, so it's, it's not very easy is um, what Ilioid is making is quite uh, it's amazing thing yeah really uh, the people they don't understand perhaps uh, that uh, to be like a 50 or 100 in the world is quite a amazing thing so it's not easy it's completely uh, uh, oh, come on i try when i was young but uh, you must be strong in your mind you must be strong with your body you must uh, train every day uh, you must traveling every week uh, oh it's very difficult it's, so tremendous it's amazing so yeah. So we've got a few athletes that have been coming through the ranks on the Western Cape that are moving in that direction. What are your thoughts of our Western Cape athletes and, and the type? Are we, have we got athletes in Cape Town, in the Western Cape, um, in the Cape Winelands that are moving in the direction and can follow and be a Lloyd Harris one day? Yeah, I think it's possible and they are, they are working very good and I think in the future they could. Uh, the only difference that... Uh, uh, is uh, if you have real inside the passion to become a professional tennis player. It's not, a, it's not enough to be a good player. It's not enough to eat a nice shots. It's not enough to, to, be, to have a very nice body. To become a professional like Lloyd, uh, you must work very hard day by day. Um, and there are lots of, really, lots of 
players in, in the Cape Town and in the, in the Western province, they could become very good players. So we've but got most the talent. The, I think most of the most of the players they they prefer to use tennis to fly in the USA to have a scholarship for USA College and there because there are lots of opportunities there to become very good players. In but, South Africa, we have only one problem that we don't have enough tournaments. Well, we this was a... going to be my next question is, is we assume that if a, if an athlete, if I play at the club down the road, I get to play casual tournament uh, tennis with my friend. We get some balls, we get a racket, we go down to the local club and we hit some balls and we play casual tennis. Um, I'm assuming that if you want to become a, a high performance athlete with success, you need competition opportunities. Yes, you must play at least one tournament per week. And in South Africa, we don't have this in this moment. Um, I try to organize uh, uh, lots of uh, tournaments, uh, um, quite in connection with the TSA, with the Federation, because I think uh, if the kids start to compete uh, quite every week with a tournament, they can manage better their emotions inside. Right. The kids, they have also the, the adults like me. I'm, I'm a coach, but uh, when I play a match, I have lots of emotion. Up and down, I'm scared, I'm very angry. Sometimes I'm very happy. Sometimes I want to, to fly away from the court. Uh, it's, it's normal, it's normal. But more you play tournaments, more you play matches, much, much better. And uh, I, I try to organize this kind of tournament in Stellenbosch uh, motion strand. And now we want to also open uh, George, uh, Hermanus and Cape Town. So the kids can uh, play every day, every week. Uh, right. But not only kids, also for adults like you also. Of course, many, uh, many people who play tennis will never become professional. Uh, no. They play tennis for the love of playing tennis. And we see uh, kids uh, starting to play tennis because it's a sport opportunity, opportunity to belong to a club, opportunity to be uh, coached by a, a leadership structure and a mentor. Um, your feeling on the importance of tennis for people? Uh, for me, tennis is, a, if I, I can compare tennis as a, as a life. Is the same uh, thing that you can find in the life. You are alone in the court. You have uh, an opponent in front of you. Uh, you must try to play your game, but the opponent wants to play the same game. He wants to win. You want to win. He try to make everything to create the troubles in you. So it's uh, like life. Uh, one moment you are happy. One moment you are very sad. And I love. I love tennis. is a, is a, is a very devil sport. Is a, I think is very devil sport. <laughs> you recommend obviously for. People who are watching the show right now to find a club near them. Yeah, yes, uh, I, I really, I recommend tennis for to everyone. Uh, the, the kids they play tennis, they are very clever, and uh, they have, uh, they, they must have very good discipline. So I love, I love, I recommend tennis. Also, my son, they are play tennis, and um, they improve their discipline in uh, during the, the day. So I love. Fantastic. Federico, it's been great chatting with you. Uh, we're looking Thanks forward so to following our, following our athletes and finding how, out how our Western Cape uh, athletes are doing and that they're going to go beat everybody around the rest of the country and around the world. So we, we look forward to catch up again soon. Okay. Thanks so much. Eh? Uh, there we go, folks. Federico Copini, of course, uh, from uh, Western Cape Tennis. And great to see that our Western Cape athletes uh, are getting this sort of high performance coaching where you can move from the amateur space into the professional space. And we know that uh, Western Cape Tennis has got a lot of focus on growing sports. So if you are watching this interview tonight, it'll certainly bring you confidence in sport. Um, go and find a tennis club near you. You would have seen the ticker line at the bottom of the screen here. Just if you want to find out how to join, go and visit www.wctennis.co.za. Folks, we're taking an ad break. When we come back from a break, we carry on talking about sport in the province. Back in a sec.